Capricorniers, how are you guys doing? I welcome you to Soul Star. So those who are new, thank you so much for being here. Explore the channel. I hope you get what you're looking for. My old joiners, thank you so much for being here. We have a tiny community growing and your support really matters to me, okay? And I send you so much of love and light from this little space from where I connect with you guys. So it's the journeys. I always say not the destination. So let's begin. I'm doing a tarot. Uh, uh, weekly messages, love messages specifically. You could be watching the reading when it's a full moon or you've just crossed the full moon, right? So whenever you tumble over the reading, there is something in this reading for you. So let's see. What do we need to see for our Capricorn? So the sun transits Capricorn. It's in the house, right? So sun and Saturn are not the best of friends. I've done the reading for all the signs. Do watch the impact. It was amazing. Um... Again, as I said that, you know, uh, keep in view uh, to use your inner compass in a decipher with the reading, my love. Uh, especially if you're a cross watcher and Capricorn yours. For you guys, make sure that you watch your sun, moon and rising because my readings are not just psychic. They are astro based as well. Okay, so I dabble in the Vedic and the Western. All the jazz in the description box. So what do we need to see as a surrender to the light, Michael? I'm going to pull out a love oracle first for you, Capricorn yours. And then we're going to go forward with your tarot guidance what do we need to see for capricorns coming forward in love this is strictly a relationship reading but this could resonate in any dynamic with you what are the messages we need to see for my capricorns Ooh, matters of the heart and we have the heart burning the desire it is really about change it is about transformation it is about your relationship with one another is about to deepen strong bonds love conquers all and transforms everything so whatever it is it is coming around in your favor whatever you're asking about thinking about has a lot of passion has a lot of fire to it okay could be a fire sign that you're dealing with let's see so uh capricorns you know we know that um this is the first full moon of 2022, right? And considering the Mercury is retrograde, so is Venus, you know, depending. And Sun and Saturn have that kind of impact. But still, you, my love, are very social inclined. You are out there and about. You want to make the most of it. You know, many times is what is there in the head. But let's see what's really coming up for you, Capricorn. You in love. What do we need to see, Michael Gabriel? Blueberry is surrendered to you. Show me the messages we need to see for my Capricorns watching. Dana. Show me the messages we need to see for Capricorns watching. No reversals, okay? And um, uh, no genders unless I'm a guy with two. Oh, they asked me to stop, okay? What do we need to see for these guys? Treasure box, nine of cups, cancer, Piscean energy. What is it about, Scorpio? It's about deep love, deep, deep love. Let's see, what do we need to see for my Capricorniers? I think there's a conjunction about to happen right in your sign. But again, uh, that can vary. So let's see. What is it that they're telling us? So I've got four cards. I can add them. There's a chariot and, and whatnot. But I need a specific card for the core energy. What do we need to see for my Capricorn ears? Don't stay fixated on the ideas and everything. You know, be open to change. Be open to change. Gemini energy lovers. Ooh, I told you it's very fiery. Passion. There's a lot of love that you guys have. It could be a sad as well. Huge, strong, powerful connection. This is that you're thinking about or asking about. Or it's coming your way. It's headed. Okay. It's teaming up for you. It's if it hasn't uh if you haven't seen it, it is there around you, around the block okay uh just be open and have a fresh look for you guys those are already in a relationship this is massive it's it's getting deeper but what is it with the lovers we need to see and the transformation king of wands could be the one you're asking about my feminines so this is really about um being in the air 
and uh, maybe somebody is really attractive really hot okay so this is aries leo sagittarius this is about somebody who's who's been there in your life i feel for some of you okay somebody who's been there in your life but you know has been in and out and uh, now the instinct is growing you know the love instinct is supremely growing and they don't know what to do about it okay there is this intensity which is growing oh yes and the card topples of course so the intensity is growing it's not in balance and they don't know what to do with it they just don't know wow capricorns what else with the lovers and we are in the season you know 6 which is really about balance right that's the energy with 2022 ten of swords is 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 it they're done with it or possibly you done with the ways be you used to do things and you used to operate etc etc you know you just feel that uh you want it for the best you want not just a very passionate kind of uh, vibe but you want something that fills you inside you know that brings about that wellness to you as well the emotional wellness to you as well so the change of course is around the corner and love can transform as this this card suggests that love conquers and transforms all things so maybe the shift is coming in in with the person you're dealing with and asking about the shift is definitely coming in and um, let's see what else we need to see this the tower wow so something which again you know now with the tower i don't see tower as a bad card because tower is here so the light is going to come in no matter what how hard you try whatever you do this light cannot stop so this light could be a light of love uh, the way you used to let me just put it out now it's so clearly stated that maybe this was a very physical uh, oriented uh, relationship that you felt you were in and you just thought about walking away but now with the tower here they say love can change everything possible because that is the only way so you might end up as i said in the beginning of the reading that you might end up with a new perspective and what is that perspective focus i think on things that you can handle yeah the harfund the the wellness uh, see the longevity of any relationship does not depend upon how uh, magnetically attracted you are physically to each other it depends upon how your souls connect right so that is the shift which is coming in now for you guys and that is what is going to happen capricornius that will take it forward with that conjunction that i was talking about so the best for the best outcome it's very important that you put in your energy in the right space and place don't just focus on the physical attributes of a person i'm not saying that you do but if you do you know there would be a change very very soon and that would lead you to a path that you never thought or lead you to a partner that you never thought you could have so for once this is really uh, for you to see and invite all the good things all the pillars in place you need to have this is an 11 11 card right so you need to have those pillars in place not just one attribute but you want all the pillars to be positioned well and of the same height etc so that there's balance so that the relationship can be stable and this celebration around so you'll have to trust this guidance with the fool here that you'll have to work around it if you are the one who is more uh, you know engaged in this kind of head uh, or could be the person which i always swap i don't care but the idea is to bring about that switch to your mental state and see that you know you need to take that leap of faith and invite that change into your life because even if you don't it is going to come in 
no matter what because you know the person you're asking about or you're connected with is extremely sensitive or you're very sensitive and you understand that you know it's it's hard to kind of find the right match to you someone who brings about you know or makes you feel good you know within your soul so it's like a landmark reaching a landmark so you can really really triumph and you can really you know stand up provided you put your energies and your focus in the right way and not stay confused so communicate right uh, team up and uh, you know think about doing things as a team together value their opinion also and you know uh, i'm sure communicate so that they can understand that they need to understand your point of view as well so Overall, I feel that it's going to be a fantastic week going forward in love, and let's see uh, what is this uh, leap of faith, you know, really bringing in. Could be a higher level of commitment that you could be going in for, or could be something that you never expected. Uh, for you, Capricorns, definitely anything is possible at this point in time. Anything, trust me. So I shall pull out the angel messages. So it could be a yes or a no, or a maybe that you're, you know, asking about. Okay. Um, or just a general guidance as to what the divine has in store for you don't stay fixated okay it is not a block it is something that's telling you that it's great to have a amazing physical partnership with somebody but it's also lovely if it's backed by the emotional state because that's the only thing that's longevity right at the bottom we have a peaceful resolution that means that it's going to be peaceful oh we get the same so we have peaceful resolution which is amazing that this one here is going to bring about the change for you okay so nothing to worry capricornius and you're ready to accept the change as well so that's that's what i have for you because love has it all there see it's like here the hands are spreading wide to give you what you're asking for right now okay so you are going to receive it and they're saying be willing with this they're sending it be willing accept it accept it so amazing keep recording i shall see you the next time until eternity hope this resonates and you know if you're interested uh for a further dive in let me know and i shall connect with you soon bye